place or the beauty of Cutthroat Crown are worth sharing with people. I love to, when I'm excited about something, I love to share it with people. Sitting beside a stream where cutthroat trout lived 150 or 200 years ago and seeing this incredible hatch of mayflies as they rise up out of the water and form this column. You know, So being down at the stream at eight o'clock and seeing them begin to rise, seeing a few mayflies coming off the water in ones and twos and then it's fours and fives and then it's 15 of them and seeing up close and then coming to the top of the hill and looking out over the stream and seeing 30, 40, 50 feet high in the air, this column of mayflies dancing in the air. doing their beautiful dance and you know knowing that these 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 creatures are only going to live for two or three hours in their adult phase maybe a day in their adult phase and how important they are to the ecosystem seeing them firsthand gives you a deeper appreciation for what it's like Part of being outdoors was relational. It was something that I enjoyed with people that are important to me. That was probably the earliest connection, but it certainly grew beyond that. So my first experience fly fishing was as a 15-year-old with my brothers on a family vacation in the Rockies, catching mostly rainbow trout, but also some cutthroat trout. So those um, early experiences, I think, just sparked curiosity for me. The beauty of the world around me, the beauty of the fish that I was catching and releasing, and it was just um, an experience of tremendous delight in every possible way. Thank you.